Hey guys, I'm gonna show you uh, how I made my, how I will make my uh, watch band, uh, watch strap uh, from a water, uh similar to the type of deal that Dinky sells now or worn around, I'm not sure. Uh, it's very simple, I'm not going to do an A though, because um, it takes more skill and more parts which I don't have those hoops and but basically I cut a uh, piece of leather uh, with the, the small blade from Victorinox Swiss Army knife and if you have this sharp enough or if you got it brand new it will be sharp enough uh, it cuts through leather like butter and makes a really nice cuts uh, over, overall and smooth and if you be able to manage to cut it in one piece it just like a fabric cut proper one and where I got the water uh, I got the water from this guy here and this is a old water satchel bag and I took it it's this thing you loop around your neck or whatever and where I got the bag I got it in a flea market and I bought it especially for this because I always wanted to do some other stuff with the watches so initially I wanted to make a NATO strap but uh, this leather is too thick uh, for a watch straps so uh, it would be really hard to make a NATO, good NATO out of this so I decided to make a simple one uh, I really like the weather, uh, weather stuff and this is a uh, old uh, worn in look which I really really dig so two bucks from the flea market uh, real weather bag really nice but not that nice to be can be used uh, the thinner the weather the better but but you can use it with this one and you can see how thick it is it's uh, probably two or three millimeters but uh, one thing I did here at the loops is that I used my Swiss Army knife and made this thinner so when I go like this it will fit nicer and as a pattern, uh, this is a 22 millimeters, which will go on my uh, Orient Mako or on a Seiko watch. Uh, but um, you can do this. I just cut it. The, uh, the strap was a bit wider, so I took a two little sheets from here. And this little bugger uh, cuts the best because of the thin blade profile and it just goes through the water like butter uh, so you can use it uh, for that just show you how it cuts because I got a lot of audience who likes uh, blades and knives and other stuff just cuts perfectly through the water And if you are not sure about the measures and everything else, uh, I use this uh, cheapo uh, water band, which is also 22 mils. And for this down part here, um, I just place this like this. So this profile uh, ought to be thinner down here, so it can go eas more easily through the loop. So I just do some drawings on the water and again by using a Swiss Army knife I just cut it out and here this part uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna leave it this a little bit of imperfect or just gonna make it perfect you can place a coin here or whatever and just cut it uh. so now I will firstly use uh, some super glue 
uh, to glue this in. You can use Loctite. Uh, I I ran out of Loctite, so I have this uh, some kind of Italian brand super glue. It's really good. I used it on leather before. Uh, I made the cutting. So I made this thinner, so it will probably look like this. But just in case the glue doesn't go in there, I will put uh, this little screwdriver here so I can create an empty space. So when I glue this, I'm gonna apply glue here. I glue this, I will see how it holds and then maybe I will do some sewing. But I'm not really a big fan of the those sewing on the sides. Uh, so we'll see. So uh, I applied some glue and now I'm holding this with the pliers or if you have some kind of clamp it's even better but uh, just holding this to glue to catch in and this is some kind of a badass glue. Uh, I had different Loctites but this one turns hot on something and it's just super super sticky and I made the watch bands before with this and apply it on leather and it was basically immortal and it's a super fast too so that's it uh, gonna wait a bit more and I'm gonna put uh, uh, this loop from a uh, old watch band so till next time so I glued this. Uh, next thing I did is uh, I did a little uh, correction on this, and now I'm gonna make a holes. And the best way to make a holes is to take a pattern and repeat this with some kind of measure, or you have an uh, old watch band, just place it over and through the holes repeat this. So just going to punch some holes uh, on a Victorinox climber there's a reamer uh, which is perfect for this. Uh, on Pioneer or any other AWOX version there's a bigger reamer but this smaller one uh, just works good for it so I'm just going to make some holes uh, camera bothers me so I'll turn it on again later So it looks a bit crude but it will worn in and one thing I forgot to mention is that how you want to measure how long this will be. Uh, the best thing you do, uh, no not the best thing but what I did is I took the regular NATO strap and just placed it on a leather and took the size and this is a little bit shorter than a NATO band or if you don't have a NATO uh, just use an old one. And put it here, uh, put another measure down here and take into account uh, that watch will be probably four centimeters or, or or more or less but that's it pretty much and also you will need uh, this part buckle this is the easiest method it doesn't take a lot of effort and parts but it will look nice I think so and so I don't have you probably can buy this parts but I took it from an old one I like to reuse so that's it I'm gonna try to put it now here I'm gonna put it down here and if you don't know how to put this uh, basically uh, what you will need to do is that you just need a little pocket knife so 
you just take this apart and it works most it has a spring bar here and you can remove the spring bar with a little with a little knife or a tool if you want uh, so I reuse the buckle sometimes it won't go out and this is a pretty uh, good one fat sp uh, spring bar so it will do good and now I will insert this into here blow it through so it can work now and just reattach this one gonna do this off camera because I don't have space to watch for you find it. Oh, here it is oh, I'm not really a fan how this buckle looks to this one uh, so I will probably replace it uh, with a square one um, just doesn't ring my bells but that's the only one I have now uh, except maybe this one square one would be nicer uh, so I will see to change it uh, but overall uh, here it is real weather genuine tech really nice patina worn on it and maybe you wanna uh, enhance this goal with uh, treads here uh, but I, I know I will just mess it up so I won't do it and for a fact I know this goal uh, kicks ass and it's uh, really strong uh, so now I'm gonna put it on a watch to see how it works I forgot to make a loop for a watch uh, band so I'm gonna take this stick layer and just go with tin together like this so so here it is a couple of minutes later uh, here's my loop uh, it's not my first time that I make this uh, so but this is a much different project but I made this before just took a little piece of leather and glued it together basically like this and what I did uh, just one part over another take a measure on this one so I will put this in down there uh, and now I will put some olive oil onto the leather to just to make it look nicer don't have any leather dye fabrics but this one is already treated but it has a nice patina and pattern and this is a down portion uh, and this loop is a cloudy loop it maybe it doesn't look the greatest but uh, when you one go through it and just apply it like this uh, so now I'm going to apply some olive oil uh, to the leather I don't have any fancy leather oils um, but I usually apply some olive oil on my leather stuff and it's nothing special uh, just regular actually this is a this bottle is a uh, homemade olive oil uh, which my father brought from Dubrovnik, Croatia uh, when he was there last winter so he brought uh, some olive oil so I used this little bottle to have for this kind of purposes so uh, just a drop of oil, oil and the water is dry and needs some 
conditioning. So when applying oil, uh, usually less is more. And I'm speaking to you, Mr. Spearman. Uh, but uh, it cannot hurt generally, but uh, less is more. And this is a very dry weather. Uh, it was left unattended for some time. So I'm just gonna let this soak in. Uh, to soak it in. Uh, so after that, gonna put some watches on and dry down. So here it is. Here it is a uh, done deal. Uh, I put my Orient Mako on it. So uh, I just feel it looks nicer on it. Has a little ding here, but. Uh, I don't care, it just goes around and I just love the looks of the weather here and worn look overall. Uh, and it's just nice feeling to have. It's a pretty thick and solid and I like it. It's not bad, it's not perfect, uh, but it's definitely a uh, project nice project you can do it yourself uh, you don't need you need the minimalist things uh, and besides it's like I said it's cheap and if you want to buy a watch band like this you are looking at uh, lots of bucks so I could do it better and I will probably make a couple of more of these, but uh, so far I'm gonna wear this one because I like it. And it's watch is more secure if one pen breaks loose, watch still st remains hanging. And I'm gonna probably buy some of these loops and make even more better quality ones. So I just give you so. I'm happy how it turned out and definitely was worth the time and money and I could I did this in a less than a half an hour with filming and without filming I would do it faster so it's really cool and these bands go depends on the brand name but they go really really expensive so I got more weather so we'll see what be next I'm EDC Gunner if you stick this far thank you for watching yeah I forgot to show you how it looks I have a wrist